Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's October. We have 23 more days to Halloween, which means I will be doing nothing but Halloween tutorials for the rest of the month. And to start things off, we are doing the skeleton makeup. I began by priming my skin and then I'm going in with Tarte Amazonian Clay for the foundation. For the face paint in this tutorial, these are two palettes that I got off Amazon. I think they were like $15 each. If you're planning on just using these once for Halloween and you just want something cheap, then yeah, these were okay, but they weren't amazing. I don't think I would recommend them. They smudged really easy and they did not layer well at all. So first I went in with a brow pencil and I started to outline these spots where I was going to put the skeleton and then my camera died. So here you can kind of see where I outlined. To start the teeth, I got white face paint on the back handle of a brush and just clumped it onto the areas where I wanted the teeth to go. Then taking the brush end, you'll want to blend out those clumps into the desired shape that you want the teeth to be. And then to prime the eyes, I used a NYX white eyeshadow base and I put that on my brows, under my eyelids, and on my eyelids just to prime that whole area so that the black eyeshadow does not turn on you, turn blue, gray, whatever color it might turn. The base is going to help with that, especially if you are wearing this on Halloween. You don't want to have no base because most black eyeshadows will change colors on you. I'm using the Beauty Killer palette by Jeffree Star and the color Black Rainbow. And I'm basically just putting that on diagonally from the outer corner of my eye up to the inner corner of the eyebrow and also on the lower lash line. And then diving back into that same palette, I'm taking the color Expensive and I'm going to put that on the brow bone and blend that into the black. Then taking the shade Violence, it's this purple shade here, I'm going to put that on the brow. I was hoping to conceal the brow a little better, but my brow hairs are pretty coarse, so they have a hard time laying flat. So I decided to go in with the face paint, mixing three colors together to get the purple color that I wanted. And then use that color to put all over the brow to kind of lay them flat if possible. If your brows are not as crazy looking as mine. I noticed that I made the mistake of applying my powder eyeshadow before first putting the black face paint on my eyes. So I ended up having a lot of creasing, so you'll want to make sure to put the black face paint first and then go over it with the black eyeshadow. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting on the black face paint and then I'm going over it with the black eyeshadow. And then just filling in my waterline with a pencil eyeliner. And then taking this blue, I'm going to put that underneath the black. I'm gonna put that underneath the black on the lower lash line. And then I added some pink in there to kind of make it more of a purple color. Next, taking this silver, you can't really see it, but it has sparkles and glitter in it. So I'm gonna put that on the brow bone. And then I'm going to take this Sigma brush and I'm just going to blend all these colors together. Then with this small concealer brush, I'm going to start outlining the nose with black face paint. And then I went in with a purple, the same purple from earlier that was mixed with those three colors and filling in the middle. trying to keep it lighter on the ends and darker in the middle. That way it will look somewhat depth, deep, depth, deep. <laughs> so yeah, it'll look a little deep and that way your nose looks like it's gone. You know, you know what I mean? All right, so now we're going to outline the teeth and you don't have to be super picky about this or perfectionist about this, camera died again. You're just going to want to do it messy. So when my camera died, I went ahead and did half my face and came back and I'm gonna do the other half. So yeah, you can just do this super messy, just put it on there because you're gonna be going over it twice more and then having to fix it again. So you just run, kind of want to get a rough draft of what you want to do. 
And I just used a small angle brush that was all frayed on the end so it kept getting everywhere. But I used that and the black face paint. You can also use liquid liner. I find that works pretty well. And just outline them. And I'm bringing them up at a tip on the top. That's just like, a, that's just a preference. You can do whatever you want with the teeth. Make them your own. Then I'm taking this Bella Pear Loose Pigment and I'm going to be putting that over the white on each tooth. This is going to be the part where all the black lines get fucked up. So you're going to have to go over them again after this unless you're super careful or have a smaller brush. Then maybe you won't. But yeah, so after this, this is my final time, so I'm going to be a little more careful at making my lines a little more perfect. Okay, and then I went down the chin and I started making little cracks in the skull and adding shading underneath. I just drew on some lines and then took the big blending brush and I blended that out later. And then you're basically just going to draw this triangle going up to your up to the top of your ear. You'll want to make a downward slope for your chin, your cheekbone, not your chin your cheekbone and then here I go blending it out and then adding some cracks underneath the teeth I don't know why I thought I needed the camera this close but here we go making some cracks under there and on the top as well and then in between each tooth I added a little bit of shading and then kind of just used the back of the brush to smudge it out A little more detail on the chin and now I'm taking this pink and the blue and making the purple out of them once again just in there messy and putting that in the center area on the cheek leaving the outlining black once I'm done with the purple I'm gonna go over the outline again because these face paints don't show up that well, so you have to keep going over them. So just finish the outlining. And then I added black to the neck, which will, won't matter much later because we'll do the whole neck. And then adding white around the eye and on the cheekbone. And then just adding it in above the teeth. I wasn't really going for a full-on white face, so I kind of just put it on smudging, smudging it around, not super careful or even or anything like that. And then this is just to outline the top of the cheekbone. And then I'm just adding a few more cracks in the skull. And your finger is great for blending, great for blending out the edges. Okay, and for the top, I'm drawing these two L's back to back and then taking a gray, I'm going to put that on the inside of each L going upward and outward. And then just using my finger to blend those out. And then I'm just going to darken the outline with a black once more. Nothing crazy, just messy blending. And then I'm adding the same sad looking eyeball on this side. Looking back, I kind of wish I added some cracks on the forehead, but overall I was pretty happy with the way it turned out. So moving on to the neck, I'm just going to draw three rectangles in white 
outline them in black, and then outline them again in purple for each one. And then you could do the full on rib cage, you could do the shoulder bones, or you can just put on a long sleeve shirt and make it easy. Whatever you want to do. For me, I got the long sleeve shirt to make it easy and I'm ready to go out. So lastly, I added some white along the jawline and then taking this gray shade, I added some detailing above the cheek, right on the cheekbone. And that's it. That's it for this tutorial. This is my skeleton makeup. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the rest of my Halloween tutorials for this month. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.